Hey, Brittany from Zipify here. We're constantly working behind the scenes to add new features to our apps. We look at the latest trends in e-commerce and listen to you, our customers, to try and add the best updates that we can. In this video, I wanna show you the latest updates we've rolled out that increase the ease of use and effectiveness of your pages. First up, we've added the ability to schedule the publishing of pages and blog posts for the Zipify Pages Plus plan. The key to an effective content marketing strategy is consistency, and scheduled publishing of pages and blog posts makes it super easy to stick to a regular content plan. Use it to batch content for your blog by creating multiple posts and then scheduling them to publish on different dates in the future. You can also schedule sales and launch pages so you don't have to wait up until the wee hours of the morning to turn your pages on. In the Settings tab of the Page Constructor, click Scheduled Publish. Then set the date and time that you want to publish this particular page. The time zone of your store will be used by default, but you can update that by clicking the drop down here. Then click to schedule. If your page is already published, this action would automatically unpublish the page until the scheduled date. And since we always like to make things easier on our customers, we also rolled out an organizational update to our image library feature. You can now categorize your images to make them easier to find. As you build more and more pages, the amount of images you'll find in your library will grow as well. This can make it difficult to find the exact images you're looking for when you're building a new page. With our image categories, you can find the image you're looking for and add it to your page with a couple of clicks. You can access the image library within the Zipify pages settings or by opening any one of the image blocks. You can filter your images by recently added, recently used, or most used. Further categorize your images into folders for products, branding, or even create a folder that's just for GIF files to distinguish those from the rest of your images. Click the Categories tab to create a new category. Name your folder and then upload or add images that are already uploaded from your image library. You can also select and add images into categories here. Just click on the images you'd like to group together and then click Add to Category. Move and remove images you no longer need. In keeping with making things easier for users, we also added a recently deleted pages section to the app so you can recover pages that were removed within the last 30 days. You can also permanently delete pages from here if you're sure they're no longer needed. The final update is one we're seeing more and more e-commerce businesses utilizing on their product pages and websites. Video backgrounds. Instead of still images on your pages, video backgrounds are just as they sound videos that replace the still images. These video backgrounds increase the engagement on the page due to their eye-catching nature, and you can now use a video as a background for any block on your page. Click to open the block editor. You'll see the option to add an image or video to the block's background. Here, you can add a video from YouTube, Wistia, or Vimeo. We also added a color overlay option for both images and video. Use the transparency slider to make the overlay less or more intense. Don't forget to adjust the padding of the block to fit the full size of the video, especially when working with smaller blocks like the single button or headline block. If you're a Zipify Pages user, log in and check out these new features now. If you're not inside Zipify Pages and you want to start building conversion-tested landing pages for your store, visit zipifypages.com today. I'm Brittany. Thanks for watching.